Now, after the events of this week, Americans across our country are feeling a sense of helplessness, of uncertainty, and of fear. And these feelings are understandable, and they are justified. But the answer must not be violence. The answer is never violence. Rather, the answer, our answer, all our answer, must be action. Calm, peaceful, collaborative, and determined action. We must continue working to build trust between communities and law enforcement. We must continue working to guarantee every person in this country equal justice under the law. And we must take a hard look at the ease with which wrongdoers can get their hands on deadly weapons and the frequency with which they use them. And we must reflect on the kind of country that we want to build and the kind of society that we are choosing to pass on to our children. And above all, we must reject the easy impulses of bitterness and rancor and embrace the difficult work, but the important work, the vital work, of finding a path forward together. And above everything, we must remind ourselves that we're all Americans, and that as Americans, we share not just a common land, but a common life, not just common goals, but a common heart and soul. And those we've lost this week, have come from different backgrounds, different neighborhoods, but today they're mourned by officers, by residents, by family and friends, by men and women and children who loved them, who needed them and who will miss them always. They are mourned by all of us. To the families of all who've lost their lives in this series of tragedies, we share your pain and your loss. To our brothers and sisters who wear the badge, I want you to know that I am deeply grateful for the difficult and dangerous work that you do every day to keep our streets safe and our nation secure. Our hearts are broken by this loss. And the Department of Justice will do all that we can to support you in the days ahead. And to those who seek to improve our country through peaceful protest and protected speech, I want you to know that your voice is important. Do not be discouraged by those who would use your lawful actions as a cover for their heinous violence. We will continue to safeguard your constitutional rights and to work with you in the difficult mission of building a better nation and a brighter future. And to all Americans, I ask you, I implore you, do not let this week precipitate a new normal in this country. I ask you to turn to each other, not against each other, as we move forward. Let us support one another. Let us help heal one another. And I urge you to remember, today and every day, that we are one nation, we are one people, and we stand together. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me, or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.